Howdy. Uh, back again with another headline for you. Thankfully, this statement isn't being said by anybody really official official, but uh, I do think that many of us see this coming. Uh, so the gentleman says World War III has already started. A uh, Russian foreign policy expert is talking about this. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the article here. Of course, the link will be in the description as well as the first comment, so you can read it at your leisure. But it says the Third World War is already underway. Fyodor Lukyanov, and I'm sure I've got that wrong, um, Russia's leading foreign policy expert has said, a world order that has been unpleasant but manageable is being broken down and currently there seems to be no mechanism for the resolution of conflicts including the ongoing escalation between israel and hamas he believes and i believe much the same that he does uh, and i will further say that the the most scary thing about all of this is that when this goes down and i do believe this is going to go down uh, I think you're going to be seeing the disillusion of a lot of international organizations like the United Nations, like NATO. I think you're going to see the end to a lot of these. And there's going to be just this gigantic power vacuum. And that is the part that I'm mostly afraid of because the United States is in no shape to be able to fight that off. And And when I say the United States... I mean, militarily and civically here, here, you know, just us regular folks. Um, I mean, come on. If, if we had a true red dawn moment in this country, you know, don't get me wrong. There are areas of this country that would do pretty well. However, for the most part, and especially with, with in cities, that just would be a meat grinder. And I think anybody that knows anything knows that. Um, and there's going to be so many power vacuums. It's unreal because everything, you're going to see so much fall away, uh, including civility. And that is what's going to be the worst for you and I. Uh, but then I'm speaking even beyond uh, the loss of civility in this nation, the, the wars that we have with each other on the streets. I'm expanding beyond that, looking above that dust and wondering what's going to happen as far as us as a nation. That's the part that kind of concerns me the most. But let's get back to the article. Uh, Luke Yanoff, who is chairman of the Presidi Presidium, uh, a, a think tank for Council of Foreign and Defense Policy and editor-in-chief of magazine Russia and Global Affairs, made the remarks in an interview published last week by newspaper um, Komsom, oh wow, Komsomolskaya, Pravada, something to that effect. Uh, of late, the world has been seeing old, frozen conflicts getting reignited, uh, Lukanov said, listed, listing as examples of the Nagorno-Karabakh hostilities, the Russia-Ukraine standoff, and the new escalation in the Middle East. The ongoing array of conflicts is effectively the new world war, which appears to, be, uh, appears to significantly differ from the two global conflicts of the 20th century. Lukanov, who is also a research director at the Valdal, Valdai, International Discussion Club suggested. Uh, we instinctively expect that the war will begin just like the Great War or the Second World War, but such wars probably won't happen anymore. After all, there are nuclear weapons, which are still holding back many, the experts said. The escalation in the Middle East is not the last conflict to come, with more hostilities expected to break out worldwide soon. No one seems to be capable now of stopping them, he also warned. The international order is breaking down. It was an unpleasant one based on the fear of mutual destruction, but manageable. Wars in the Middle East have erupted before, but the USSR and the USA intervened and extinguished them until the next conflict. And now, 
I don't see even a temporary settlement mechanism, Lukanov said. He noted that the Palestinian militant group Hamas has apparently picked up the right moment to strike against Israel, uh, given that the country has experienced permanent internal chaos for over a year already. So, again, there's going to wind up a huge power vacuum here. And that's not a good place for us to be. We did do better than most countries, though, did we not? I mean, we lasted for a while, but um, I, I don't know what's going to be the future for this land that we call the United States today. Um, because, again, when I look above that dust of our fighting in the streets with one another, I don't see us in any way capable of retaining the nation. I don't. It's uh, an absolutely sobering, horrific thought, in my opinion. But it's one that we need to talk about, and it's one that we need to try to do our best to shore up against. Not a whole lot of things on that level that we can do. But I'd rather try to do anything than say I didn't do anything. All right? Anyway, I'm out of here. Links will be down there. And uh, I'll catch you later for the live show. Shalom.